Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Mass Effect 2 with the Soldier series. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, let's get down to it. Last episode, we helped Zaid with uh, his mission on Zoria, and he wasn't too happy that we weren't that we didn't kill Vito Santiago, but he still is loyal to us because we convinced him to be loyal to us. And then we explored the galaxy a little bit to get resources, and then we ended up on the Citadel and we recruited the Master Thief, Kasumi Goto. Now, in this episode, we're going to go help her. Because I need money for the most part, and the best way to get money is to do missions. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, so to help Kasumi, we just go to the neighboring star system. I don't know if these are all depleted or not. They're not. Launching probe. They will be though. <laughs> Mr. Donovan Hawk's not gonna like that I'm stealing his resources from his star system here, but oh well. I'm gonna do it anyway. He don't need them. Probe launched. Moderate? Come on, man. He must have been doing some exploring here. Wheeler? Wasn't that one of the name of the kids from uh, Captain Planet? Wheeler? <laughs> and I think this one's depleted, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. We'll do her master thief. thief. Blah, 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 if I could speak. Um. We'll do her infiltrator so we can have her use her powers more. And there we go. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover. You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. I take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason. You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our 
art tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. Okay. How did you ever contain that situation? So I'm just going to run through this because, um... I've done this so many times. I'm getting some freaking lag though, for some damn reason. I hear he's dead. Or gone or something. Good riddance, I say. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX-700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Okay, this is a lot easier than you think. You gotta examine this. Looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. I know right where it is. I don't need to follow it. Or maybe I do. Yeah, I thought it was this way. And then, yeah, around here. Yeah, I thought so. Thought so. We'll chat him up. you 
Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us, the cleaners, the support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Okay, and so then we come over here, get the statue. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Okay. Now the password is over this way we want to read this chief row huh she sounds like a hard ass if we could tap into the guards communications i could probably use this information i hear mr hawk's vault is exquisite who could know he never lets anyone hear it Actually, no, let me put. We've been spotted. Up we go. We gotta shoot. Why am I getting fucking lag? I don't understand why I'm getting lag. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Hmm, no DNA, but looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. It's clean. It's a plant. Why is that so funny? I, I don't know why that's so Holographic funny. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. Okay, but first we're gonna steal his money. Okay. Now we can get out of here. Someone got through on the balcony. How the hell did they do that? I don't know. Jumped down, shut the guards, broke the window. You didn't hear someone breaking a window? No gunshots? I can't hear it. You! Stop! There we go. Okay. Now we need to go into the security room. Which is over here. That so 
Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. <laughs> Excuse me. That sneeze has been stuck in me for a while. There we go. You can't be back here. Yeah? Huh? I have an idea. See what you can find. Okay. We will here in a second. Got the password. The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Okay, now we got everything for the vault. I like to get everything all at once. That way then I can... Get to the vault and we can just move on. I need to fix the armor now that I'm thinking about it. When we get back to the ship, we'll fix the armor. Okay. We need to change Shepard's weapon to the Arc projector. Okay. All right. All right. There's a hidden weapon here, and you want it. So this is Hawk's fault. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. The weapon is right near the gray box. You want the Casa Fabrication Locust. That's a Casa Locust. No, the Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrowed these. Now, what's this? Borrow my ass. <laughs> too bad Shepard can't, the soldier class can't use them. That's okay. Oh my god. There it is. Bottom is go to. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive, 
You got into my vault like I'd left it open, but you're still going to die. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! Okay. So we're gonna put you on, and then we're gonna put you. Okay. Ah, I missed. There we got her. There we go. Let's see if they burn. I had her scope. Got well. Contact. Watch for the tower. Eat it. There. Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in now. Okay. And then here's your chance to change your weapons again, but we already got what I need, so. I'm kind of playing math today. Okay. They are not dropping ammo. That's actually very concerning. Moving to cover. Now you see me. Damn it. We have to find another way. This blows my mind that they're not dropping ammo. Oh. I thought I saw some. Yeah, there's some. We have some. We do. All right. We'll hack the PVA here because there's some money here. There it is. And green. To her, you. That's what you do there. We'll open that. We come up here and blow that up. So we're not wasting ammo. Don't let the map up there with my proper thing. We'll take the salvage. Why am I getting so much fucking lag? Kill some of the 
heavy fire. I am taking fucking lag like fucking crazy and I don't understand why. There, I'll take a free headshot. Why am I getting fucking lag? It's driving me fucking nuts. Why am I getting lag? Jesus Christ, quit fucking lag- quit fucking lagging! I want to play the fucking game, not fucking have to deal with lag. There's nothing else going on at this computer except for OBS. Fucking lag. Where's the spare parts? I know it said spare parts. I'm not leaving without them. Get up there, Shepard. Well, it must be a glitch because there's no spare parts. There we go. EDA, we want that. All right. Okay, don't shoot at the gunship. Wait for the enemies to pop up. Is that all of them? I think so. Our 
Uh, I don't know how you consider that left. That's right. Dumbass. Had you scoped. Ah. Okay, here's Donovan Hawk again. Gunship's back and this whole shield. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Look right. Down you go. Okay, cool. Got a clear shot. Here we go. Looks like all of them. Good. Take our metagel back. Take the power cells. Get out of here. All right. There, it's finally not lagging shit. key to your gray box so no one could get the whole package but if I'm dead and if anyone knows about this then I've made you a target my love I'm so so sorry KG I know you Kasumi you'll want to keep these memories forever but you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you please 
Kasumi, destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He lays the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Okay, so we got Kasumi's loyalty mission done. And she'll get an upgrade here with her tech powers. So will Morden. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, we'll deal with it in a minute. Back damage. Guy. No messages for you, Commander. We need to feed the fish. All right. It says no messages, but let me see. Okay, Kate Bowman, she was the one from um, Asteroid X-57 that we saved. Oh, thanks for saving me. I found out you're alive, and I'm glad you're dealing with the colonies going missing. And this is Chief Burns from um, when he was held hostage. Thanks again for um, doing this for helping me and um really i took my position for power and chicks but you know what i'm gonna help people now that's pretty much what he's saying there's a picture of ashley that kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Oh, the I'll armor. I forgot. I forgot to fix the armor. I keep forgetting. I need to fix the armor. I need to change my casual appearance back. There we go. Health by five. Health by five. Headshot by ten. Heal by five. Power. I don't need power. Weapon damage wouldn't be a bad one. Reduces the delay in shield regenerating. Um, mm -hmm. I three, we'll do the offhand ammo pack so we can have more ammo. Field strength, storm speed, health by 10, we'll do shield strength. Okay, there we go. 
That should do it. That's what I liked about this game. You could put on um, different pieces of armor and they do different things. So for soldier, you really want shields, health, and weapon damage. Okay. Now that we got some money, let's head back to the Citadel and go downstairs to Sedonis Applications or Seronis Applications and buy an upgrade. Why you have to watch this bullshit, I have no clue, but you do. We also need to go to Presidium as well. So we can talk to Anderson. You don't have to, but, um... I do it because it's just fun, you know? It doesn't matter. We're not going to be doing any fighting here anyway, so... Why you even need a squad is beyond me, but whatever. You know? We'll bring Garrus with us because... Anderson should know who Garrus is. We want to max out Shadow Strike on Kasumi. And then we're just going to take the fast travel to get to where we're going. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main god of an Empress class dreadnought. Yeah, we've heard that one. Yeah. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. 
Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard, as long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consulate, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Okay. We need a selfie, so we'll go ahead and take a selfie with... There we go. That looks kind of a funny selfie. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just galactic news. Okay. Downstairs we go. 
the Saronis applications. There is. We'll take you first. Damage protection. Because I don't use tech powers. I mean, my squad will, but I don't. And so the damage protection would be better for me. Now we'll go back to the ship. Oh, it's right here. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. We're going to do that smuggle cargo. Um, like I said, I've never gotten it without them destroying some of the crates. I don't think it's possible to get it without them destroying the crates. I, I don't know. But I do want to get that damage Andrew, protection. A new message at your private terminal. Oh, we need one more so we can unlock the shield upgrade, the redundant field generator. Batia, Smish Batia. He's the one that we helped get his wife's body from the Alliance. Oh, he's saying thank you for doing that for me. I opened a restaurant that his wife always wanted to do back on Earth, and he's doing great. That's pretty much what he's saying. Okay. Let's head on out. We'll do the uh, smuggle cargo first. Sure, yep, we're full, okay. I know this gets boring and you know it over and over and over again but this has got to be done it's got to be done launching probe hey launching probe Nice rich planets here. Launching probe. Hey. Thank Launching you. Hey. Then we'll land. Now I'm thinking we need the missile launcher, but I'm not sure here. Take you. 
You. Excuse me. Okay. That's not bad. That's really not bad. 16 out of them. Usually I only get like 10 or something. But I want those power cells. I'm just looking around. Somebody programmed those mechs to destroy the crates, whoever was smuggling these. Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's it. All right. That'll just get us some credits. I doubt we'll get any experience, but... I mean, we got some, but... There we go. Now we're ready to help Jack, I think. Which will be nice to have a biotic in the team. Cerberus Command, oh, nice work getting those crates. We gave you some money. Damn glad you're with us. <laughs> okay. There's an anomaly here. We don't even need to look for it. We just shoot the probe and hey, we found it. Oh, it's the Estim it's the shipwreck. Love and hate this one. It's cool you get to 
go on uh, an old shipwreck, but it sucks because it's glitched. There, you always shoot that first because you need that for a bridge. So we're just coming up here just so we can look around here. Because I know there's items here. It's like um, just some resource items. There's no like upgrades or anything. So. But it's really cool. You walk through this shipwreck and it's like um, it's teetering on the on the cliff. It's it's pretty cool, actually. Now this is where it gets glitched. You gotta... There we go. We got it. You have to be in the right spot. The right exact spot. But that's just one. I don't know if it's... You gotta wait for it or... See, I mean, this is where I have the trouble. Right here. You'd think with all the money they... They put into this game... They would have fixed this glitch. But they didn't. Shepard, get up there, please! There we go. Shit. You just want to get up there and you can't because of the stupid glitch. I mean, you would have thought, you know, with all the money Bioware put into remastering this trilogy, they would have fixed this glitch, but they didn't. It's the only glitch in Mass Effect 2, actually. Same with 3. The apartment has the glitch. You buy the um, different furniture and stuff. You set it in your apartment and it works for the first time. But after that, it it doesn't work. It doesn't render. And you would think with all the money that Bioware put into remastering the trilogy, they'd have fixed that. But they didn't. All they did was port it from Xbox. Down we go. And I don't think there's anything else on the ship. Um, And down it goes! There we go! So we did that for the Alliance just because we're an Alliance boy. <laughs> we're not really with Cerberus. And so now we want to read the message. An amazing find! from the curator of the Alliance Museum. Thanks for recovering the data from the Estev Estevanico. Um, turns out um, it was attacked and overran by blood pack mercenaries with Vor Vorcha soldiers. They were the first ones to ever run into the Vorcha, so they must have been scared shitless. Moreland, he, he's the one from um, the first game we bought from him. He was also the one that dealt with the black, the uh, medical black market. He's, he's saying, oh, if you're too small, I got something for you for that. <laughs> it's called Viagra.
away. There we go. Here we go. Back to the Fuel at one half capacity. where we're going so we can help Jack break her out of prison is what we're going to do. First, we're going to load up on fuel and probes so we can There we go. Launching probe. Probe away. There we go. There we go. We got a million iridium. <laughs> Look at that. Stock up on probes just so we have them. And then we'll go to prison ship purgatory. If you read the dossiers, you see why the uh, characters are doing what they're doing. I don't waste my time with that because... You know why? We'll take Miranda. And we'll take Kasumi. Why not? You got the locust. You got the locust. Okay. Shepard, your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. The prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. Catch up with you later, Shepard. Okay.
something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey! Hey guys, over here! Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people, only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat, small time compared to most of the guys here. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw, mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. Go away. Now processing through the door on the far side of the room. change your mind. Activate systems. Enemies in front. I saw you. Nice shot. How'd you like that? Now you see me. Oh, I had him scoped. This should scramble the systems. Nice. Oh. Uh. Reinforce out processing. Shepard is loose. Disabling the mech. We have to get Jack out of trial. There. Melee works. Uh, all right, so they tell you. You've got company. They lead you where you need to go, so don't worry about going the wrong way. You gotta be careful those shotgun wielders. I just wanna check, make sure there's not anything else here. Like that. 
If we hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. It's the only way to get Jack out of there. I'm doing it. Be ready. to get down there okay so we'll get down there warning warning sounds like heavy fighting and the corpse for damage protection hell yeah That works. If you can knock off the head of the heavy max, they blow up as a, a mini nuke. Destroying every enemy in the area. We will. Get the shotgun wielder first. He is the most dangerous. There we go. I was going to say, did I get that?
Get rid of his ass. See, that's what I mean when you blow those, um, when you blow those, um, heavy max heads off, they blow up mini nuke style. And they just destroy the enemies in the area. <laughs> All safe, we'll take it. There we go. Valuable Shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trainer, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Look at his ass. There we go. Thinking we want to go left. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking so. Blew his head off. <laughs> That's what an adrenaline rush is for. and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move up. Okay. So we leveled up because of that, which is nice. I don't know why, but I love using the sniper rifle. It's just so much fun.
Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Okay. Now we're going to do an upgrade. And we need to go talk to the crew. There we go. So we can get the redundant field generator. There we go. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. We need to go upstairs. We'll talk to, um, Kelly here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay. If you talk to Kelly enough, she'll say, Oh, let's hang out sometime. And then we'll come up here. And then she'll say, And I let the fucking fish die. God damn it. Been a long time since that's happened. I forgot to feed the fish. Ah, well. Fuck it, I, I'm not gonna worry about it, you know? Um. Oh, we need to talk to the mess sergeant. Put together an impressive team. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Okay. Commander, 
What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. So Jack might be the only one I need to talk to, we'll have to see. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need. Yep, it's just Jack. The fish, I don't really know how it works. I know you have to feed it, feed them every so often. I think it's like every two missions you do or every two places you go or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works. I mean, do I really want to go to the Citadel and buy more fucking fish? Not really, but at the same time, I want to do it because it makes the cabin look nice, so... Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. There we go. Jack will get a boost in her biotic powers. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm going to find something I can use. I just know it. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Okay. Now, we're going to see where we can go. We'll probably, like I said, go to the Citadel just to get more fish. And hopefully this time not fucking kill them. Like I said, it's been a while since I've killed them. <laughs> That's okay. It happens. It happens. It's just the gift shop we're going to. We're not going... Well, we need to go to Serona's Applications anyway to get that other upgrade, so... Fuck it. We'll get that first, and then we'll go get the, um, fish. So it works out! <laughs> Look how things work out, you know? We'll bring Jack out just so we can, um, 
get her built. And then Kasumi so I can max out her Shadow Strike. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do a Primal Adept because Miranda will end up having the um, weapon damage boost. And then we'll save her points so we can get Shockwave maxed. the way downstairs to the Saronis application store. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh, we still we can't quite freaking afford it. God damn it. Shit. I thought we had enough. Nope, we don't. Son of a bitch. That's okay. We'll buy the fish and then we'll um, recruit the warlord. Well, we'll check around the star system first and then recruit the warlord. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. There. Now, like I said, hopefully this time I don't kill the damn fish. Okay, so I'm going to go upstairs and feed said fish, so I don't forget. There. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Now the fish are fed, now we can go to where we need to go. Why not do Project Overlord? Well, because I want to upgrade my stuff first. And besides, I need a tech character. There's a certain character I want to take with me. Beach Thunder. What a name for a planet. At least it's not Tropic Thunder.
Where's the planet? There it is. Launching probe. Damn, we're gonna get tons of resources. <laughs> Do I need all these resources? No, but it's nice to have them. I don't know why, but there was one scene in The Sopranos where he, and Tony was showing AJ an old neighborhood, and Tony was buying um, houses in this neighborhood. It was just a straight up ghetto. And these two crackheads come up thinking that Tony's looking for a score, and. He's like, no, nah, I'm just showing my kid the old neighborhood, and they're like, oh, well, this is our neighborhood now, and Tony says something, and, um, the woman's like, oh, fuck you, and he's like, oh, the, oh, the mouth on you. You, you blow your father with that mouth? Okay. We want to um get warp maxed out. Oh, this is the one where we shoot the, um, we run and find everything and have to kill the, uh, Max. That's right. That's right. A sandstorm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. Here's a status report saying that, oh, everything's fucking going wrong. Okay. I really don't think there's anything here except for, like, resources and... This will say that the, oh, the max we were carrying, they were faulty, and um, we were taking them to a special station. Nice job, Jack. We just need to get out of here. That's what we need to do. 
There's no need to stick around and shoot. I didn't realize this was a thing. Why is that so much fun? Why is that so much fun? Mini nuking the hell out of those guys. I don't know why, but it totally is. There. Now that opens up uh, the uh, station they were going to, that Jahari station or whatever it's called. We'll deal with that in a minute. I just want to look around and. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. See what all resources I can get from the star system here. Um, we're feeding the fish after every mission. I mean, I'm sure you can go like. I think so Edie tells you where they were going and so like I said it opens the um it opens the um quest tombs He's like, he's the one we saved from Cerberus. He's like, what the hell are you doing? You helped me escape from Cerberus, and now you're part of them. What the hell are you doing? And then one of the prisoners from Purgatory is saying, hey, thanks for getting me out. But you shot at me, so now I need to come after you. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got all that done. No, one thing, um... Oh, it's here in this system. I didn't realize that. But anyway, one thing, um, I've been doing... I've been looking through my YouTube feed on things that I just don't watch anymore. And I've been unsubscribing from channels that I just don't watch anymore. Um, one bit of content I just don't watch anymore because it's just not very positive are the Red Pill channels. I, I don't watch them anymore because I, I just can't stand how they sit here and say, Oh, well, as a man, I'm a victim of society and... I need to hate women because of how society is, you know? And it, it's like, no, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, you know? Yes, society's unfair towards men. Absolutely it is. We're discriminated against at the workplace anymore. We're, um, 
the courts discriminate against family court discriminates against men i i get it but hating women is not going to fix the problem you know launching probe I mean, yes, I grew up in a single mother home. I mean, my my mom wasn't the greatest mother. I I will admit that, but um But that doesn't mean I need to hate every single woman on the planet. You know what I mean? Because I mean, they didn't do nothing to me. It was just my mom that did things that weren't wasn't the greatest parent, but that doesn't mean I need to hate all women. You know what I mean? Okay, so what went on here? The match went berserk. We'll take the iridium, even though we don't need it. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. Okay, so you can't go into the hub act, into the hub area. You gotta go around here and get all the power up and running. Research area power restored. And now you gotta like move your Guy. All personnel take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. So we got that one done. So the clue to that one was when she said the reflective armor um, plating has been adjusted. That means you did it right. Yeah, so you don't want to run through the little steam that, um, pops up. Just wait for a minute and it'll dissipate. If your, um, team goes down, don't waste your metagel. Because they're too stupid to um, dodge the. They're too stupid to dodge the uh, plasma venting, so. There. Now...
we go into the living quarters, and this is kind of a tough puzzle right here. So pretty much those PDAs say, oh, the mechs, they were faulty, somebody fucked with them, and now they're killing everybody. Okay, so now you gotta open the doors. Nice, we got it first try. I I could never remember how to do it. I could never remember how to do it, but I got it first try. Open the locker for some credits. Is that all that's in here? Yep, that's all that's in here. Okay. So now we get to go to the hub area because we, we got the power restored throughout the entire station. Okay, there we go. We got the station shut down. But now we'll get another message from ED saying, oh, there was a batch of those. Um, we know where the uh, mechs came from and you need to shut down the factory. So she said, oh, the coordinates I put on the, um, I put on the galaxy map. Okay, thanks, ED. Feed the fish so we don't kill them again by accident. <laughs> no messages for you, Commander. Okay. Now, we head back. We're going to finish off that quest to shut down that factory. Okay, we'll disable the infected product line. And then we'll run back to the Citadel after that so we can um, get our... Um, I have detected an anomaly. Get our last upgrade from Seronis. Probe away. Scans have found something. Okay. That way then our characters will be upgraded fully for the moment. Alright, we'll bring Garrus this time. Or no, we'll bring Morden this time. It's been a while since we've had him out. Um, there you go.
actually, why don't we put that on you? And we go Ryo on you. There we go. Look at the feet on that one. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. Take the med kit. We'll do all this. Oh, there was a recall on those mechs. They knew there was something wrong with them. The mechs were starting up and killing people, so now, oh, let's well, lock down the frickin' facility. Oh, we can't because they're blowing up. Actually, you know what would probably be better? Yes. Okay, so this is kind of tough to get through. You don't want to stop, you want to just keep going. Get backed off. There, we made it. I'm not going for the Ezo because I've got tons of it as it is, so... So now we're going to shut down the line.
There, so we blew up all the uh, Bad Max. And we blew up the production line while we were at it. So now they can't be a problem anymore. I don't know why I used to shit on cryo ammo. Okay. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Heading upstairs so we can feed the fish again. Okay, so this is a spam message. They're saying, oh, uh, would you transfer 20,000 credits and I'll give you a Prothean artifact? Well, it's a scam. We don't do it, so fuck it. I was gonna say, where's the picture of Ashley? Okay. Okay. So we'll run the Citadel real quick. Said hasn't been out in a while. Fuck it. Three for his inferno grenade. We want to get that max. And I'm just doing this just to get my. Um, last upgrade from Sharonis. It's the tech damage. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. There we go. That way, um, our tech people can do more damage. There we go. Okay.
Okay. So off to recruit the warlord. Check all these planets first and then we'll get that done. Launching probe. Launching probe. Here we go. So we're after the Warlord Oak here to join our cause. We'll bring Garrus with us this time. Why not? There. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. We're just gonna blow through this with the assault rifle. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are building. Observation post. And ready for a fight, it looks like. Berserkers, ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather, I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. The scare was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I don't know why I used to shit on cryo ammo.
This cryo ammo is really kicking ass. <laughs> Oh, shit! That works. There we go. Take some ammo. You are different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. He's only a week old? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread to kill. No, I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. She is up past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. and dangerous. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called, released. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. Bastards. There we go. Damn, I didn't know Cryo took out armor. I thought it was just, um, incinerary. Yeah, I didn't know that. Holy shit. that all that's here? Yeah, I thought maybe there was an item or something. Nope, there's no item.
the sniper rifle. That's what I was looking for. Shit. Look out. Damn, we're just blowing through this, man. All the way, Garrett. Damn. <laughs> really, we're we're just blowing through this, man. Take the money here. There we go. I need everyone out of the labs to fight this. Every floor, every outpost, move. Oh, I'm glad that they be killed. There we go. Because I'm playing casual, uh, thermal clip reload just refills your entire ammo pool. So, if I were to play on like hardcore or um, insanity, I wouldn't get as much ammo. So, so that's why I just play casual. Because I don't have the patience to play. Hardcore and insanity. I've done it before on the first Mass Effect. I actually platinum the first pa the first Mass Effect on um, PS3. It was tougher than hell to do, but it was I it I got it done though. So I mean, it was the first game I ever platinum.
The second game I ever platinumed was, uh, Stick of Truth, South Park and Stick of Truth. Down you go. Down you go. Down you go. There we go. Make sure there's nothing over here there isn't, okay? Out that one. Miranda went up and she needs help. Okay, I gotta go up and just cut these sons of bitches in half. Get rid of one. Get rid of two. One enemy ran in front of me and I killed I killed him while I was going after the heavy. <laughs> Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. I'm all for second chances. Not so sure on third ones. Right? You said that right, Garrus. <laughs> Bypass the lab terminal. This looks interesting. For pro good vitality, we need that. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. 
I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about the Collectors. We couldn't care less about your problems. I see. Yes, Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oh, here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Okir's data. Flush the tanks! She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Okay. So Jador, we're gonna take her the hell out. Got her. Did I get her? I think I did. I think I got her. Move it, Garrus. I am out of position here. Got him. Boom. Impressive, I took out Jador with two shots. I would tell you, but everything is in my prototype. My legacy is pure. This one soldier, this grunt. Why 
would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? No telling what Oak here jammed into this thing's head. Releasing it may not be wise. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. All right. We leveled up because of that, too. Nice. Concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. Okay. So I'm gonna upgrade everything and then I'm gonna call it for this video. So. Sniper rifle for headshot damage. All right. So I'm going to call it for this video. So that was fun, you know, going around exploring the galaxy. I mean, I, I had so much fun with cryo ammo. I don't know why I used to shit on it. It was so much fun to use. So anyway, hope you all had fun this episode. I did. And I'll see you all in the next episode.